welcome back to my channel. I'm laughing because I'm looking down and my dog is just fast asleep there on the floor. So anyway, um, today we're going to be making strawberry whipped cream crepes. Yesterday I made some and I posted them and you all were asking me for a recipe on how to make them. So let's go ahead and get started with that. But before that, you know I have to have my coffee. This so, is Bianco Forte. This is, I don't think you can see that. This is one of the coffees that is made specifically to add milk to. So it's like a barista blend. And let me know, have you guys tried these dairy-free creamers. This is just the regular one. This is so delicious oatmeal. And it is so good. The best um, dairy-free creamer that I've ever used. This is, like I said, the original. So it tastes like, um, it tastes like half and half. And then if you want some flavor, which I like flavor too, this silk, oh yeah, oat milk creamer, oat milk cookie. Oh, this stuff is so good. You guys have to try that if you are into dairy-free creamers and milks. These are the best that I have found. Can you see my coffee? I'm so excited. Go ahead and add my creamer. My oatmeal cookie creamer. How good does that look? First we will start off with two thirds of a cup of flour. Then we will add our salt, which is, I put just under a half a teaspoon of salt. And three eggs. We can go ahead and get to mixing that up until it becomes really gluey and then we will slowly add our milk. And you will add a milk of choice. I am using almond milk, the almond milk that I made. I will leave a thing right here for my recipe for almond milk. It's super, super simple really fast and it is the best almond milk that I've ever had. But if you don't like almond milk, you can definitely use dairy milk. You could use cream if you wanted to, um, soy milk, coconut milk, whatever you prefer. So do you see the consistency of that? It's pretty thick, but it's really gluey. So we will slowly add our one cup of milk to this. And it's going to be a very, very liquidy batter. That's what makes very thin crepes. So we can slowly add our one cup of almond milk. And you want to mix this up until it is combined completely, that you don't have any lumps. I mean, you will see a few lumps in there and that's not going to be horrible, but just try to mix everything up the best that you can. So I'm actually going to pour that back into this that has a spout on it. So you're going to want to spray your pan. I only had to do this one time for the whole batch. So I sprayed it with a little bit of this avocado oil. It is a non-aerosol or non-propellant spray. And you're gonna need two hands for this. So when you pour it here in the middle, you wanna spread it all around your pan quickly. Okay. 
You see that, how it just came right up? Flip it over. So I mean, that was just a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds on each side. Probably even less than that. I finished the crepes and it made one, two, three, four, five, made six crepes out of that batch. That's pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our whipped cream. And then after that, we'll cut some strawberries. I'm just using a pint of whipped cream, whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add that to my bowl. And I have one fourth of a cup of sugar here. So yesterday I put some vanilla in here, but I don't want vanilla. I just like sugar and heavy whipping cream. So let's get to mixing it. chop up some fresh strawberries. I like to chop these up in little bite-sized pieces. Bye. 